Okay. So, uh, hi everybody, and thanks for joining us. And if you want to have your video on, you can have it. If you're shy or you forgot to put your lipstick and makeup, you can keep the camera off. <laughs> Whatever works for anybody. So, um, this is going to be a just a, a conversation, kind of a webinar, get to know Ria, kind of chit chat. And uh, although I do have some things I want to say first, I will say that and then we'll pretty much open it up for you guys to talk to Ria directly and ask questions about how she can help you with your business. So uh, first thing, I just want to uh, do a quick introduction. Um, I was I was doing a training program. I'm still doing that training program. And uh, in that training program, I actually was told that, you know, Rishi, for such kind of things, just hire a VA. And I'm like, what's a VA? <laughs> so, virtual assistant. I said, oh, there are people like virtual assistants. <laughs> they said, yeah, just go on LinkedIn and find them. So this was to do some tasks which required some computer knowledge and, and kind of a routine task. And it might take too much of my time. I might get bored doing it. So I started looking for um, LinkedIn where it says virtual assistant. And I was surprised that quite a lot of people were coming up on the list. So I just went one at a time and contacted the people on the list. About, I think about 10 people out of 20, 30 people replied to me. One of them was Ria. She was not the first one, but I think it was the fourth or fifth interview I did. And I think I just it just, for me, made sense. Uh, I asked uh, Ria if she can get started. And she said, yes. Unfortunately, she had a very, uh, a, a very sad situation, a disaster of sorts. So, sorry. Let me put my phone on silent. I forgot about that. So uh, the house got burnt or something, if I'm not mistaken. And I said, no, no, chill, take your time. I think a week, 10 days went by and then she got started. And uh, what I wanted was actually initially, uh, you know, just exactly what just happened right now. The phone came. I'm in a webinar. I'm in a meeting and I can't take the call. But I would still like that client or the prospect that is probably contacting me for business. Uh, somebody should pick up the phone and, and take the message. And so that's what I told you. I said, you know, can you take my calls? And if it's spam, don't let me know about it. If it's personal, tell them to WhatsApp me and send me a voice note. But if it's work related, this is what I want to do. If it's somebody looking for a job, send them to my website. But I want you to take this specific message down and get the information from them, which will make the person who called me realize that, okay, just because Rishi is not available, at least somebody else is there to pick up the phone. And uh, she handled it so professionally. And people were like, hey, who's this girl? Yeah. And I said, no, no, it's just somebody that's working for me. And she's got a team of people to handle my calls. And then she invited me to one of her webinars that she did a couple of weeks back. And I said, okay, let me just see what she's talking about. And she was talking about what virtual assistants do, what are the kind of tasks they do. And then I said, oh, okay, wait, this is not just necessarily only for answering the call. She has a team of 12 people and she can do a lot more things than just answer calls. And, and her, her team is technically competent. So that was like, wow, charge me by the hour or they can charge a monthly retainer, but I don't have to worry about hiring somebody. I don't have to worry about what is the growth path of that employee that I'm going to have in my organization. I have a one-man show. I got, I got experts on my team dealing with various services, but you know, I work from home. I don't have an office. I can't hire an assistant and where will he or she sit? You know, all of those things come to many people that now work from home or are individuals or consultants or professionals that need the professionalism of a, of a person that can do a lot of tasks, you know. And um, and that's what she does. Her team, I think she's 12 people now and expanding. And um, so she um, was able to first, I said, can you take care of tech support calls? Like, you know, there is a, there's an app we've developed and why don't you try and watch the videos on the website and try and see if you can install the app, you or your team can do it. And if they can do it, then, you know, uh, you provide the tech support to the customer because that saved me time. 
And so she did it. She just watched the video and said, yeah, Rishi, I got it done. And I'm like, great. My customers don't watch the videos. You please guide them through the process and do it. So tech support was something they got added in. And then I had these, these Facebook uh, leads, which I had generated, but not all of them got converted. I was just doing them a bulk email, a bulk WhatsApp and stuff like that. And... Um, and she uh, got her team. I gave her a little script. She said, Rishi, give me a script. I need to know what I need to tell them. I said, just tell them to come to my next week's workshop at 11 a.m. and stuff. And so she does that. And it's damn good because we got like 700 or 900 leads or something. But all of that is taken care of by her team. They make calls. They run through the script. And uh, it's massive effort of my table and it's just handled by their team so it's just i mean i don't know i can go on and on and on about how great this is and i as i said to somebody else earlier before we had joined the call i said you know uh, it's like i want her to continue to succeed so that i always have her available with her team to handle my business and take care of my business so I want to keep promoting her anyway. <laughs> so, uh, hi, Ria. I've been uh, just rambling a lot. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you so much for this great introduction. It really means a lot. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So, actually, I think before we get questions from everybody else, tell us how you started and tell us about you and your background. I mean, I, I revealed your age to everybody in my email. <laughs> so we, I told them you're only 25 years old. They know that part. But how did you get into this? How long you've been doing this? And tell us about that, your journey. So, yeah, I mean, I never had plans of starting a business or, you know, even kind of uh, doing a nine to five. I was this, uh, you know, rich kid who had all the luxuries in life and who was just having fun, you know, very bad in studies and like the, the, nothing was sorted and I had no vision, no goals, no ambitions whatsoever. But eventually life came crashing down and my parents got separated and that led me being the bread, you know, I suddenly became the breadwinner of the family. Like today I was the spoiled kid and tomorrow I wake up and like I'm the breadwinner of the family. And it was a tough task because, you know, you have to take care of yourself, your mom, your sisters, your dogs. So it was, it was a task. It, it was not easy. And my uncle really helped a lot. He was like, why don't you join my company? He has got this massive SEO company where he has about 200 employees and he's killing it. And he was like, why don't you join me? And I worked there for about two years. I started working when I was 18. I worked there uh, till 20 years old. And I was the operations manager. I used to help uh, manage teams, train them, hire them, fire them, delegate tasks, and, you know, take care of the quality and all of it. And eventually I realized that maybe I can do a little bit more. Maybe, you know, I can get rid of this nine to five and start something. And that's when my beautiful sister comes in and she's like, let's do it. And she's also on the call, Kushi Jane. Okay. And uh, <laughs> so she comes in and she's like, she's much, much younger than me. She's what, 20, 21 now. And she comes in and she's like, Ria, let's do this together. Uh, she was working, she was in her 11th or 12th standard, but still she was, she was, she used to come back home and she used to help us in computer. So that's how we got started. Our goal was just to take care of the end meets, but people loved the work. People were enjoying business owners were like, Ria, why don't you, even I want to work and even we, we want to work with you. So we were like, might as well start a company, might as well start hiring people, might as well make this a little big. But I, we had no dreams, no intentions, no planning whatsoever. We just started, went with the flow and to Today, ever since we talked, Rishi, we have in, uh, uh, increased three people on the team. So we have oh, like wow. three people now. So, wow. <laughs> so it's well, going good. And I'm so glad and so blessed that I met you on LinkedIn. Because <laughs> the first time, I, I, I still remember, it's a funny story. Um, You know, you messaged me on LinkedIn. I saw the message and I was like, Nahi yaar, Indian hai, ko paise nahi dega. <laughs> Matlab, nahi milenge paise. <laughs> and I think the best decision was to accept the connection because I think that you are amazing, so intelligent, smart, and I am learning so much from you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> it you. It was man. a good decision. Uh, <laughs> good, good, good. Yeah, I think a lot of Indians uh, will and should understand uh, the value you're giving. I mean, <laughs> if, if we want to, you know, become and take off and do business and stuff like that i mean what you're offering is amazing and and uh, i think i think your prices are great 
I'm not gonna mm-hmm. put your prices up. <laughs> let let okay, yeah, Manoj, you wanna ask a question? Yeah, I just wanted to ask Leah, how do you conclude that the Indian will not pay? What <laughs> makes you to do? <laughs> Good question. So I mean, you are right. My perspective was like, dollar me kamana chahiye, dollar me kamana chahiye. Uh-huh. I think I need to earn in dollars, and because the money difference is a lot. But then I, I actually worked with a couple of Indians. One was in Delhi, uh, but they were, you know, a lot of chick, 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 and they were not understanding, and they were like, it is overpriced, and they were not seeing the value. So I was like, maybe I'm not made for the Indian target audience. But it was a couple of years ago. Now India has become. amazing i yeah. mean people are understanding the value and i was like oh my god why was i wasting my time why didn't i focus on this market so that is there for sure uh, but yeah and the, <laughs> and the indian now indian now can pay in dollar but <laughs> <laughs> i would love that so apesa rishi is my first ever amazing indian client and i'm so proud it is rishi wow. so wow. Yeah. so i I'm, i'm you know uh, i think there's somebody that i sent the invite to the webinar and uh, i spoke to i think it was yesterday day before i think she said that you know i don't even want to wait for the webinar i'm hiring a services now so i i think people will start seeing the benefits of uh, having somebody who i think the biggest takeaway for me is you guys are um, technically very very competent i mean you just not you but your team they are you all are also young uh, and bubbly you know <laughs> very good and uh, and that you know kind of rubs off and and comes across and at the end of the who wants to record this session it's already getting recorded tanu tiwari who's that somebody from your side yeah no 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 i'll share the recordings with you later tanu hi tanu mm-hmm. where are you are all right so yeah i think uh, indians will understand this and uh, i think this for me it's a no brain it's like mm-hmm. yes yes and ria yeah this rishi i am a fan and follower this many years it must be i think i think 2015 uh, or 16 i think you must have come for my first Yeah, yeah. Was, oh wow! That was pre uh, Zoom and all. I mean, he yeah, yeah. came. It we is... did a workshop somewhere in South Bombay, and he yeah. came and attended a few of those. Oh then, my God, that's amazing! He's been wow. on my list for quite some time. But yeah, let's let's open up for anybody else would like to ask questions about what Ria's team can do for you as an individual. If you've got a business to run, or you've got a team, and you need to outsource your work. what kind of doubts and questions that you might have this is it you know just ask her what, and um what, yeah. yeah sorry and even without i think before we talk about outsourcing i think the one more important thing is you guys have all the rights to ask why should i outsource like what is the necessity for me to outsource i might as well hire somebody and you know have them work and they'll become your employee so the difference the only difference is that you are not hiring us you have you have to give us no commitments that ria i'll give you this much amount or this much work on a month to month basis and you can be like ria i just need you one hour this week and next week you can be like i need you 55 hours and um, that's where how that, that's how different it is because if it is an employee you have to make sure that you might or might uh, not have to give them laptop you have to make you know if you want to open an office and again there's infrastructure electricity how office rent and there are so so, so many things that goes along with this so mm-hmm. if you are somebody who's like you know yesterday i was talking to one of my uh, cousins and he's starting his own business and he was like riya i think i can't do remote i have to start my company i have to open my office and production and, and all i was like listen hold on wait i know it is beginning you are all overwhelmed you are excited to open an office but that commitment will be there for a long time and if you are not ready to take that commitment you might as well hire somebody and keep giving them work if you have work and you can fire them anytime yes yes dr sandhya okay so uh, i mean rishi introduced you and i get that you know you are good at tech support and you are good at answering calls and all that stuff but now i'm a lay person i mean i want you to tell me take me from abcd to xyz on what are the services that you offer 
how does it work does it work hour wise does it work week wise how does it work what are the commercials things like that so i need you to take me i'm a i'm a customer who's interested but before okay. i do anything else i want to know the spectrum of services you offer and uh, what is the way it works okay sure so we so first the list of services we could do administrative now when i say administrative it could be managing your calendar managing your inbox it could be data entry um, it could be anything which, which is monotonous repetitive that you want to get rid of administrative administrative is more like having a process like a sop that you have to follow on a day to day or a weekly basis like a recurring basis that is one thing second is marketing now marketing we do basic marketing we are not experts like rishi uh, marketing for us basic marketing which is managing your facebook campaigns uh, creating basic campaigns or creating your basic landing page webinar and uh, just sending out reminders to your current audience to attend the webinar giving them phone calls um, you know uh, the next is uh, payrolls you're like Ria, i have a team of these many people yeah i have so many contractors i don't want to be involved in this i just want them to get paid and have all the accounting in place so that is something that we can help you as well like you know paying people on time uh, you know doing all the hisab and taking care of all of that next is transcription like if you're like Ria, if i want you to transcribe this get me invited on various different podcasts you know we can do that so these are the things like crm management um you know uh, i mean the list keeps going graphic designing on canva again we are not like the photoshop uh, or illustrator people we can get it done on canva and um, yeah, so these are all the services that we provide right now. Research, you're like, Ria, I need a list of uh, 55 entrepreneurs who have got 50 plus employees in this company and the industry is real estate and they are in based out of Mumbai and I need their email addresses. So which is called list building. We can help you with list building as well. So yeah, these are the things, email marketing, like setting up your newsletter on MailChimp, HubSpot or wherever, you know, whatever your mar email marketing tool is and calling, of course, as uh, Rishi mentioned, cold calling, uh, warm calling, uh, just management, um, you know. And yeah, so these are the things that we have been doing for a while. And um, now to answer your second question, how does it work? If you're interested, the first thing that I always ask my clients to do is that book 30 minutes um, uh, on your calendar just by yourself, like just for you. Sit down and write down all the things that you want to delegate to an outsourcing partner, to your virtual assistant. You don't have to talk to me first because when we talk like this, you're like, I have this also, I have that also. I think I can give you this as well. But there are so many ideas and nothing is on the paper. So what you can do is sit down for 30 minutes, write down every possible thing that you can delegate to us. I love using project management tools myself because I think that WhatsApp and all is good, good to communicate, but that's about it. We need a proper project management tool in place like Trello or uh, Asana or uh, ClickUp. That's your choice. It's all, all of them are free. We can get on the, that those tools. You can give me tasks. You can add deadlines. I work better with deadlines personally. I love deadlines because it keeps me on my toes. Uh, but if you're like, you just give me a task and then I'm like, Thik yaar, abhi time hai mere paas. again, it's a mentality. I don't want to act like I'm super hero and I get everything done on time. I do. Uh, but I still want to mention that I love deadlines and um, I will be uh, giving you one virtual assistant. Ki, uh, there'll be somebody on the team whom I find really good for the project. And the three of us will get on the call. You will get to know the person. And it is more like uh, you will get to know the person. But at the same time, I will be accountable. I'll be managing the project so that I'm not going to be like, now it is Abdonoka business. Not at all. I have to be there. I have to take responsibility because I'm the project manager. And uh, yeah, the money comes to me as well. But yeah, that's that. And uh, how does it like hourly? So when you write down all the tasks, you will get an estimate key. If I would do this, I would uh, about spend uh, 10 hours a week. So you can tell me that Ria, I'm looking in, at an estimation of 10 hours a week or 40 hours a week. I'm looking for a person who can like literally work full time with me, which is eight hours a day. Again, it depends on the amount of tasks that you guys have. If you have enough tasks, you can hire us part time. If you have less tasks, you can hire us hourly. So hourly works well when you have less than 10 hours of tasks. So you don't have to give, give me a retainer. 
तो क्या होता है पता अगर आपके पास यू डोंट हैव अ सेट नंबर ऑफ आवर्स यू डोंट हैव टू प्रॉमिस मी दैट यू विल गिव मी पे मी दिस सर्टेन अमाउंट ऑन अ मंथ टू मंथ बेसिस सो आवरली में वी कैन डिस्काइज माय आवरली इज समवेयर इट डिपेंड्स इफ इट इज मोर इनटू द मार्केटिंग साइड आई चार्ज अबाउट 400 बट इफ इट इज मोर ऑन द एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव साइड आई चार्ज 300 रुपीस पर आवर एंड again if it is a uh, part time which is like 4 hours per day 20 hours per week and you're like riya you have to work from this to this hours then we have we can figure out a retainer basis ki you know we can do about you know 17000 a month something like that i mean we i'm just uh, uh, sharing this with you it depends on the job description it depends on the amount of work and i'll be super honest with you if we are not using the hours that you uh, that we have promised we will use i will let you know so that we can um what do you call uh, downgrade the subscription or downgrade the you know whatever setup yeah. we have yeah. or upgrade or upgrade if i yeah. think he, you know yeah Great. So these are all the things i hope dr sandhya i answered your questions yes yes uh, the only one question is uh, yes. i'd like to have your contact number so i can touch <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i'll i'll send it to everybody on the thing okay. yes yes yeah. great uh one uh, i'll even send a website also so that you can check out her website she has a lot of stuff there and i'll take chandra's question in a bit uh, just a couple things that came to my mind uh, which i thought was very useful which i thought i should share like right? there was this one customer that called me i was in a meeting but it was an urgent thing so i think one of the team uh, or yeah it was that said that look this customer is calling i had seen the call had come on the phone and i just diverted it so that she would pick up the message and said she's urgent the system is down and then i realized oh yeah she hasn't renewed it so i i just sent a text note back to dia saying just call the customer back and tell the customer that she has to renew it and once she renews it it will be fine or if she can't figure out how to renew it just tell her to gpay me the amount this is the amount and send it to me i'll get it done now i just did that in 30 20 seconds just sent her a voice note from my phone Ria's team or Ria called the person. I don't know. Somebody's mic is on. Let me just mute our mics here. So um, Ria's team called the customer, explained to the customer what the issues and what they need to do, and made sure they got it done. And I was like, "Wow, this is good. I don't have to call the customer and waste my time. You know, I have to say hi, how you doing? Long time. Yeah, I don't want to do all that. I just want somebody else to take care of it." and that's when i began to see the value was really really good and uh, one other thing i wanted to say was um yeah no i think that was it yeah so, i mean uh, as it was a really good point rishi so you know we think ki yaar ye do teen minute ka hi to kaam hai we can only do it why do we need to hire somebody to get this done but what happens is that um, again i feel this that when i'm working on something and then there's one distraction that distraction yes. could be one phone call yeah. and then i am like distracted yeah. okay now what's next i i then keep shuffling so it is very i know i'm not trying to sell you guys it's just an example that... no no it is it is it is very very good actually But let's let's take one question from Chandra now. He's been waiting. Sure. Like, Rishi, when can I ask a question? So, Chandra, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> hi, hi, Rishi, hi, Ria. Uh, Hello. Am I audible? Yes, 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 loud and clear. Yeah. Uh, I am a finance consultant from uh, Thane. Now, uh, I have been in touch with Rishi for quite some time, but I have not taken any of his services for okay. a simple reason: I will not be able to meet the client expectations. i'm already full my hands are full with clients i have a five people team so wow. i i want to take in more customers and all but uh, i don't go into digital marketing because if five clients call me tomorrow morning i don't know what to do okay so uh, there are uh, a set of functions i mean like uh, if this is the way aif account has to be opened this is the way dmat account has to be opened this is the way a mutual fund account has to be opened this is the way insurance has to be logged in i don't know whether you guys will be able to do all of that or not if somebody because if i um, hni calls i need somebody who should be smart and who should be able to talk the way i want uh, him or her to talk and to hire that kind of a person in my uh, uh, area it will take at least 50k a month but 50k will be quite an expense to bear at this Definitely. point of time because Definitely. i do not know what will be the closure i do not know Definitely. what will be the outcome so if Definitely. somebody can dedicatedly do that work for me and yeah. my my office is off from saturday half day to sunday 
and a lot of HNIs keep calling me on Saturday, Sunday, where I also don't want to be disturbed. So at the same point in time, if somebody can take the call, if they know my calendar and they can book it, okay, fine. Monday, 2 p.m. Oh. is when Chandra Mohan will be able to talk to you. So yes. if all those things can be done, maybe I'll need a one-on-one -on -one conversation with you. Uh, yeah. And then but I can obviously this... take Rishi's services once I know that there are people to handle <laughs> uh, these stuff. So then I can expand. I want to expand, but I am intentionally not taking any services of anybody. So this is where uh, it stands. Yeah. So Chandra, that is a really good question. And congratulations to you on having this like full-fledged uh, clients. Uh, so yes, uh, first, uh, just to answer that, yes, I can help you set up clients account. Let that be DMAT, let that be figuring out mutual funds or whatever, because I myself invest. And I have a team who we did on last Friday, uh, you can ask Kushi, we, I have given a training on financial, like how to set up your a grow account like for me like it was how to set up your dmart account and all because i keep upskilling my team i them i really want them to keep learning new things so that they also save money so yeah uh, we can help you with that and if you can give us again if you can give us some training that depends on how you want the client to be handled because i have a different way she has a different way but if you're like Ria, this is the process that i follow i'm then sure I there will be data help. privacy yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, I mean, I would be love. I would love to sign NDA, guys. If you have anything which is confidential, mm -hmm. I would be more than happy to sign an NDA with the notary or what the legal legalities. Because I can't just say right now that please trust me because that's not possible. But all I can say is that I am ready to sign a contract with you where I assure you that the data is never going to be leaked. And how I am going to assure you is that I have first I have a dedicated office. Everybody work from an off work from office. Second, all the laptops and everything is by us. So there's nobody who's using their personal computer or their personal laptops. That's not there. And we have signed an NDA with our team members so that nothing is, you know, uh, 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 what do you call falling through the cracks. So we are making sure that nothing happens and touch wood five years. Uh, everything has been safe. Uh, but again, I can't say you all of this. I would be more than happy to sign in a, a legal contract with you guys so that everything is, uh, you know, tight. Yeah. Awesome. Sure. Sounds interesting. Let's see how it goes. Yes, yes I, definitely. I, I have texted uh, the now her number, email, website, all of the chat. Take a look at it. Does the Ria? Does your website have your number and your email over there itself, or there's a form for them to fill up over there? Your website. Uh, I put it over there. Your website on the chat. I think. Uh, okay. One second. Did I did I put it on the chat? Not yet. No. Yeah, you did. You did. I did. I did. Right. Yeah. Right. So yeah. So people can 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 your phone number is there on the website as well. Yes. Uh. Yeah. My website. Uh. Yeah. My phone number is there. Uh. So they, on the website as well. Yeah. Okay. Great. And I will be emailing this to everybody. One more thing I sure. wanted to suggest to everybody, which is what I did, and I don't know whether all her clients do this or not. Ria can confirm. But what I figured was within I think a week's time, I realized this is really good. Uh, I just told, uh, you know, yeah, get a phone, get a SIM card and just, you know, send me the bill. I just GPA you the thing. And she did that. And then I, instead of diverting my number to her number, I said, divert my number to that number. So when that phone rings, actually, it's just one of those, you know, Barasola phone, hai, which you just get the old ones, which ek bar charge karte, ek hafte Kushi can show you. Kushi can show you the phone <laughs> that we have. We are, we are all office, but we are ha having fun using that phone. <laughs> <laughs> That Dabba phone, when it rings, they know it, this is Rishi's you know, phone. I mean, that's that means they so I think it would make a lot of sense that everybody just gets one phone, they know, oh, this phone is ringing, <laughs> it's this customer, this phone's ringing, <laughs> customer. I, mean, I told her, put a name, <laughs> Rishi, order, stop, <laughs> get on the phone, and, and you should do it. But that's just something I thought made more sense because uh, it's like nothing to get a phone and a separate number. So, yeah, that was something I wanted to add. Anybody else have questions? Uh, Iman, did you want to say something? Yeah. yeah. Hi, Ria. Hello. I did the webinar with you, but I didn't get back. I'm ready now. And uh, I would like to have that form, which you want me to start organizing. I'll put everything together. You just said, no, nah, consider on 30 minutes and put all the huh. points what I want you to do. Just let me know the link. Share it with me. And that's, not a, that's not a lake. She said, just write the note down. Like, oh, open a note and it just starts. Yeah, writing. this is quite traditional. You can write it on a book and a pen. Like, I will send my notes to you. 
Yeah, and yeah. I will start immediately. Yeah. No problem. Yes. And guys, I I I don't want you guys to trust me right now. We could do a two weeks probation period as well, no. where you could test our services out. And if you feel ki thik hai, this is something that it is doable, budget wise also it is friendly, work wise also it is good. Then we can continue. But we could have a paid a uh, two weeks test probation, and then you could be like maybe we'll part ways or we'll. Have a <laughs> happily ever after together. <laughs> that, that's the other thing. That's the other thing. Yes, yeah, Sandhya, we all say it. That's yeah. the other thing. With an employee, it, I mean, I never want to let go of Ria. But uh, <laughs> with with with, uh, with the employee, there's this thing about you having to work with that person, and you know whatever their shortfall is, you have to coach them, guide them, and all that. With her team of twelve and now fifteen people. It's like so great. They you get a, a range of expertise in this one virtual assistant hiring process. Yeah, sorry, Doctor Sanjay, you want to go ahead? Okay, so uh, Ria, the thing is that uh, you know I'm a posh consultant. Posh means I uh, prevention of sexual harassment. So I do trainings as well as I participate in inquiries. Okay. Okay. Now, when I participate in inquiries, at that time, say the complainant is making her statement, the respondent is making a statement, witnesses. So that needs to be. I maybe something. Um, so you have stenographers who, if they are present, they can sort of make take notes and then type it yes. out. You. Yes. Other option is transcription, like you know, you've got an audio recording or a video recording, and yes. someone listens to it and types it out. Now, yes. do you do that kind of work? And if so, uh, yes. what are the charges for you know maybe an English say if somebody spoken for one hour in English? So what would be the charges for transcription? So, uh, Sandhya, I want to mention something. Yes, we can definitely do this, but I think this will be expensive for you if you hire us. There are tools out there like Auto. These you no, know, no, I they... know those. Okay, I know so those. You, you yeah, still want I've, to use this? Okay. I've been there, done that. All those things are done. Okay, so, so for one hour auto... transcription, we. We'll... Okay, okay, you do. Okay, that then that's why I just wanted me, to make sure you know about that. So for one hour of uh, audio, uh, we would need about. Uh, two point two hours, two to two point five hours to you know transcribe it, make it properly grammatical, like no grammar error and all of it. So I I think it would take us about two to two point five hours. Okay, so the question if is, if it is what... a one hour audio, if it is a one understood, hour understood, understood, that's fine. So okay. uh, what happens is otter and all those things are good as long as your pronunciation is okay, it will you know transcribe it well. Problem comes in when the pronunciation is not okay, and while the person is talking, the person is switched on to Hindi, or uh, you know, then it becomes difficult, <laughs> and the utter uh, transcription is all garbled. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's, I, I agree. Okay, okay. So I'll connect with you separately, and no more. Sure, more. sure. Done, done, done. Great. Any other questions from anybody else that wants to clarify something before you go ahead, Ira? Cool. Good, yeah. This has been a good interactive session. If anybody has questions, please go ahead and ask. Uh, I will be uh, sending her details via email and WhatsApp as well. And Ria, do you have anything yeah. else you want to share with people uh, before you know we get on with the rest of our evening? And weekend? I mean, uh, I mean, I just want to say all the best to all of you. Uh, you know, I hope you have the most productive businesses, and the next five months should be super, super, super productive, with or without me. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, have have an amazing. I mean, that's about it. Again, guys, it's not that you cannot talk to me. Like, if you have any questions about your business or operations or something, feel free to hit me up any time, any day. I would be more than happy to just be of help. And if I have some tools or some strategies in mind, I would be more than happy to share with you guys. So if you have any questions, any Thing, I would be more than happy just to stay in touch and you know kind of help you figure this out that's it Ria just one small question not to do with my business but sure. why this name Namo Padmavati okay first I'm Jane so my family is quite superstitious so okay. my mom so Namo Padmavati means uh, growing through the dirt and believing in new beginnings so which means that like it's a, it's like lotus uh, so you know uh, we I have you know we had Kushi and I, we have seen a rough uh, phase of our life for the, you know, the early, like it's been seven years now. So it's been like the first few years were terrible, stressful and, you know, whatnot. So we grew from the dirt and then we started believing in new beginnings. So that is also a goddess's name and the meaning of this is also this. So everything was like, bang on, this is good. Let's let's just use this. So you guys <laughs> speak Telugu or no? Uh, uh, 
I don't speak that. Like I understand Telugu. Uh, I can speak, but you laugh at me. But I have half team members who speak Telugu. So yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. So Thank you you were born and brought up in Hyderabad or? So I was born in Coimbatore, Tamil Nadu, oh, okay. and my nana nani used to stay there, but brought up in Hyderabad. All my life I've been here. <laughs> so, so you so, are based in Hyderabad, is it, Ria? Yes, yes, yeah. Okay. And, and and so therefore you know apart from English and Hindi you speak Tamil also because Kambatar is Tamil Nadu. So uh, I uh, we, I speak English Hindi and a somewhat tel manage manageable Telugu. My team speaks uh, Marathi uh, Telugu oh. like proper Telugu. So yeah, we we have that sort of arrangement. Yeah, okay, interesting. Nice, awesome. Thanks everybody for joining us today and have. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. All the best, guys. Thank you so much. You have a beautiful rest of the day. I sent you a message. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, See you guys.